This early ute was designed and manufactured right here in Australia. So, where did the idea come from to design it in the first place? And who did the designing? Let's explore what we know, starting on a farm in Victoria. I am so upset. By the time we got to church this morning, my dress was wet and dirty and ruined for the occasion. When it's not the first time. If we could afford a second vehicle, we would. But times are tough, and so we have to get about in the farm truck. Now, don't get me wrong, the truck gives us great service when it comes to farming. It's great at transporting pigs and sheep. Oh, it's perfect for carrying chaff bags and wheat. But it's not ideal at getting us to and from church in a state of cleanliness in keeping with the occasion. I know there are long queues in the cities and towns, you know, at the soup kitchens and in the unemployment lines. They're saying that things will even get worse and that homelessness is on the increase as well. So it's little wonder that we're seeing the impact on all of us, even out here on the farm. So maybe I shouldn't be too upset about a wet and dirty dress. But I wonder, you know, with all of us needing to find ways to, to tighten our belts, what if there was a vehicle that could do more than one thing? You know, something that we could use on the farm and something that could take us to church and other places. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Well, surely I'm not the only one that thinks this is a good idea. Oh, I know. I wonder if one of the car companies have thought of this. Dear sir, can you build me a vehicle that can take us to church without getting wet? And that my husband can use to take the pigs to market on Monday? There's got to be a design solution. There always is. I just need to find it. Something that is practical enough to take the pigs to market and that is respectable enough to take the family to church. The comfort and economy of a family car, but with the carrying capacity of a light truck. Wait. We've already got the new Ford V8 Coupe. Well, something like that would be perfect as a family car. Plenty of power. It's not really something for carrying pigs, though. <laughs> Unless you put them on the back seat. <laughs> but what if we add a tray? Oh, I wonder. We'll need to find a way to strengthen the area between the two halves. But I can do that. I've got a few extra pieces of timber. Yes. Well, that's it. I think I've got it! We went to church today and my dress didn't get wet or dirty at all. Many in the congregation were fascinated and intrigued by our new coupe utility. <laughs> and there's many who have said they'll get one themselves. Oh, and the great thing, Harold will be off to market tomorrow with the pigs in the back. Oh, not the back seat, of course. <laughs> The story of a woman riding to the Ford Motor Company asking for a vehicle to take them to church and deliver the pigs to the market is etched in the history books. It's a great story of how a need was identified, how a company met that need, and how it then became an Australian icon. Interestingly, there's some question over whether it actually happened or whether it was just a story invented by the con company. In being so, it's a reminder that we always need to think about who it is that is writing the history. We always need to interrogate the truth of what is written. What is important is that the design ideas, whether it be this you, the next new phone, a cool new app, solar panel battery storage, or any of the tens of thousands of remarkable inventions humans have created can come from all kinds of places. Sometimes 
The design idea comes from ordinary people who have a problem that just needs fixing. Sometimes it comes from a group of people talking and sharing their thoughts. Sometimes it comes from a great inventor having a eureka moment. That idea then has to be turned into reality and once designed, it needs to be tested to see if it actually works, to see if it does the thing it was designed to do. The U was designed and manufactured during the Great Depression at a time of great poverty in Australia as a vehicle that could be used for multiple things. At the time, Australia was a much more rural country with a greater proportion of the population living in the country. As a country with a history of being early adopters of new things, the time was ideal for an invention such as the U to take off. And it did!